Oh no, look, uh, <coughs> I'm gonna get sick, man. I'm going from snow, hot snow. Anyway, when you fuel your truck, your weight goes in your drives. Now, some people are gonna be like, no shit, TRB. That's common sense. I didn't know. I thought the weight would be evenly dispersed between the steers and the drive. Now, why did I think that? I don't know. So, I don't have time to look up the information, but uh, if somebody can make a video, content. If somebody can make a video about um, <clears throat> how much weight a gallon of diesel is, because I weighed my truck, I'm 13.5 on the drives, uh, I'm sorry, I'm 13.5 on the steers, 33.9 on the drives, and 33.4 on the tandems. And uh, I just went over this weight scale, and I was 11.5 on the steers, but then I was like 34,240 on my drives, and 33 is some change on my tandems. Now they didn't stop me, you know, they let me go. You know, they ain't giving a red light or anything like that. <coughs> but me, I stopped because I don't like to, I don't like to drive illegal. You know what I mean? I don't like to drive illegal. I like for my weights to be correct. So I put in about 112 gallons worth of fuel. And uh, so now I'm technically overweight on my drives. I'm 58 miles from Utah. Lovely, lovely Utah. So I'm wondering how that's gonna work. I'm over in Idaho right now. <coughs> um, also, she didn't want to. She didn't want her voice to be on camera. But like Jason Andrews been saying, "Hey, I, hey, I, hey, I'll be asking the questions. You can carry a gun in your truck in Ohio or in Idaho. Idaho is perfectly legal to carry a gun in your truck." Uh, she said she mentioned another state where it's, it's uh, legal to carry concealed. But you got to have a permit. But then there are certain states that don't allow it. She didn't want her voice on camera saying that. But hey, you know. So yeah, you know, that, that was, you know, people was wondering, there you go. I'm tired of being y'all guinea pig though, but I'd be curious myself. Like, uh, what some of these rules and regulations is that I didn't think about. But you need to take that into account. My weight on my drives, when I weighed my truck before I fuel now, that's another thing. You should weigh your truck before you fuel or after you fuel. A lot of times, a lot of shippers, a lot of companies tell you to go in with half a tank to pick up the load because the load is heavy. So, I just went ahead and topped off because uh, they say I got about close to 800 miles to do it in 11 hours. <laughs> So uh, I need all the time I got. Shout out to Paper Laws. Now, is I, am I gonna be legal? No. Am I gonna drive tired? No. Lay low, gonna be late low, just gonna be late. Ain't my fault, it was another driver. Yeah, yeah, y'all need to know all that. Anyway, what's the weight of, uh, of a gallon of diesel uh, fuel? And technically, <laughs> I went to a gas station to put regular unleaded, right? No, 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 it was diesel. My truck ran out of diesel at one time. I said, I need a gallon of diesel. Gallon of diesel was, was $2.86. I gave the people $2.86. They gave me 0.93 cents worth of fuel or gallons or whatever you say, whatever the metric, the proper metric name for that. So to me, a gallon is 1.00. They gave me 0.93 of fuel, and 
and said that was a gallon of fuel. So uh, yeah, definitely check that out. Some, some of y'all know know that stuff already. A lot of the trainers should know that stuff already. Uh, there's a word to the wise. If you didn't know, now you know. CRB rolling, baby. As always, thank you for stopping by.